My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 106 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. We've said a lot already under Akanas and Akanos. This is a series and it doesn't make sense to start repeating things we've said earlier. These are the things we've not said so far about Akanas and Akanos. Akanas are oxidized to carboxylic acid. Remember, when you oxidize Akanos, you get Akanas. When you now further oxidize this Akanas, you get carboxylic acid. And we've already given this equation under Akanos. The Akanos video is a very, very important video because the formulas, the structures, the equations in that video starts to treat so many other compounds. Akanas can be reduced to primary Akanos. See, Akanas is in the middle between Akanos and acid. When oxidized, they give acid. When reduced, they go back to their Akanos. Because Akanos itself are partially oxidized to give Akanas. When you reduce the Akanas, primary Akanas, you get Akanos. First member of the Akanam is Metanam. And we've seen that before. The functional group is CHO. This is Metanam, the first member. Then, for Akanodes, N O N E S, they are highly, hardly oxidized. It is very hard for them to be oxidized. But when they do, they will give you fragments of odors. Then, Secondary acanones or no acanones are reduced to secondary acanones because they are even from secondary acanones. So when they are reduced, they go back to where they came from, from secondary acanones. Look at the difference. Acanas are reduced to primary acanones, but acanones are reduced to secondary acanones. The first member of the acanones is Propanone, nothing like ethanone. Propanone is C H3 then C O. This is the functional group C H3. The reason we don't have ethanone and methanone is because for an acanone, this carbonyl group must be between two alkyl groups. So you therefore need to have two extra alkyl group to make this in the middle. This is the simplest alkyl known, proper known. If you add C here, you get but known. If you put CH3 here, you get methyl, that should be 3 methyl but known or whatever. But the aim is just to show you that the simplest member of the acanone is propanone. Now, test to distinguish acanones and acanones. There are two tests you need to carry out to know whether this is an acana or this is an acanone. We carry out the Fellings test and the Tolons test. Fellings test or Fellings solution is a solution that it's a mild oxidizing agent that contains copper ion. Meanwhile, Tolus reagent is a mild oxidizing agent that contains the complex ion silver and ammonia, AG, NH2. So, what is the result of these two tests? Arcanas will change the color of fairly solution from blue to brick red, but arcanones will not. They don't react to fairly solution. Akanas will change the color of Fellings solution from blue to brick red, 
But I can know. I can know. Now, the same I can ask, we give deposit of silver when they react with tonus reagents. Deposit of silver is given when I can ask react with tonus reagents. But I can know do not react with tonus reagents. So these are the two tests to distinguish I can ask and I can ask. Ladies and gentlemen, simple, interesting, and beautiful. I trust you learned something from this. And I guess you've subscribed to this channel. If you've not, do so to make me happy. Tell your friends about this channel. Get the Flash Nena Jam app. Begin to play with questions. Reach out to me if you have things to share with me or anything you need to say. And don't forget to share your mind using the comment button. Comment was comments form below. See ya in the next episode.